What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be going over the new dynamic duos in NBA 2K22, my team. So there are 10 of them here. We've got the Evan Turner, D Jared Solinger duo. We got Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero. We have the new DeAndre Jordan with Chris Paul. The annoying thing is that this is the original owner, Chris Paul, means meaning that it's the Chris Paul you cannot buy in the auction house. So like, unless you physically bought the, the original owner one. Ah! Yeah, these are different cards. Unless you physically bought the original owner card, you can't get CP3. Got Waiters and Akeem Warwick. We got um, Oscar Robertson and Jerry Lucas. Paul Millsap and Kyle Korver. And we got Chauncey and Ben Wallace. So this is the duo I'm most looking forward to is Chauncey and Ben Wallace, if I'm being honest. So with Chauncey, he gets plus seven to his driving dunk. He gets plus three to his three ball. And he gets Hots and Hunter on half with Bailout on half. Okay. Okay, that helps. That really does help a lot. And then Ben Wallace. Plus 11 three ball. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You give him, like, even a plus a Steph Curry. Or even give him a Bill Russell coach. He gets to go up to a 93 ball with any coach. All right, Scotty and Ben... Or I say Chauncey and Ben might have to be my might have to both be in the team. Because of how good it makes Ben Wallace. It makes Ben Wallace a freaking demon. Look, 99. Holy crap, man. Ben Wallace gets plus 60 total stats. He doesn't improve any badges, but still. Still though, Ben Wallace really is good. No, he does, sorry. He gets back down punch around half. Which again doesn't really mean much, but still, he's gonna be really good. His post-up goes plus 11 as well. I know it doesn't matter, but still. No, this duo is really good. This duo is surprisingly really, really good. Not on the wrong page. By the way, Bob Nedelicki got updated. He's a god. Evan Turner, Jared Solinger. Okay, so Turner was up in his three ball. He gets half catch and shoot. Half Giant Slayer. Okay. Aaron Turner gets pretty good. Like the three ball helps because his three ball rating is a little bit low. Evan, why 45 shot IQ? You're the one who decides the shot. That is literally a pointless stat. Shot IQ, you are kidding. That's like boosting intangibles. That is literally like boosting intangibles. But he does get. Oh, wow. How many halves does he get? He gets nine extra halves, which is kind of nuts. 85 pass perception, 90 block, 92 interior. Base 38 on quick. He's actually not terrible. He's actually not terrible with that duo, I'm not going to lie. That duo makes neither of these, both of these guys okay. This is, this is potentially the best of all the duos. So, he doesn't improve his interior, but he gets... Oh, I wish they'd just given him range. He gets Hot Zone Hunter, Slippery Off Ball Hall of Fame. He gets plus 7 pass perception. Plus 6 3 ball. He doesn't get that much better, if I'm being honest. He doesn't get that much better. Scotty Barnes. You're kidding me, right? Nothing. Nothing changes. So Scotty Barnes literally... I was like, oh, this is potentially the best duo. The Rosenberg gets better, and Scotty literally doesn't get get any better. Scotty Barnes is the exact same player. Really, 2K? Really? We got Hero and Duncan Robinson. Hero goes up in his three ball. He goes up in a couple of defensive stats. He gets hot set under a clutch shooter and acrobat. All right. Hero can still move with that Trey Young base. Duncan Robinson... Uh, he kind of stays the same, doesn't he? He doesn't really get any better. I wish he did. I wish I could say that he got better, but he really doesn't. He really, really doesn't get any better. I wish, again, I wish I could say he does, but he doesn't. So then after Dunk, after these two, we got Derrick Rose and Joachim Noah. 98 speed, 90 acceleration, 89 three ball. As of right now for Rose. Rose goes up plus six three ball. That plus six three balls are like it makes a bit of a difference, but not much. Badges wise, he gets a lot of shooting badges. 
Rose goes, gets five extra half badges with all of them, I think, coming and shooting. Yeah. What's it do to Noah? Noah gets a plus five three ball. Plus five free throw. Gets like ridiculous defensive stats. What was he getting? Five half badges? So, no, he gets six half badges. All of them in finishing, which doesn't really matter too much. Again, like I wouldn't go out of my way to use this duo. Like if you're gonna be using the duo anyway, then if you're gonna be using both of them anyway, then fair enough, use them. But I wouldn't go like out of my way to use this as a duo. Not awful though. Like it could be worse. It could be Scotty Barnes. It could be like Scotty Barnes and the Martyr Rosen. And that is the worst duo. Um, 95 three ball. Chris Paul goes up in stats that he's already good enough in and that don't matter. But he gets one extra half badge, which is Acrobat. Yeah, CP3 doesn't get any better. Unless this gives DeAndre Jordan a three-pointer. It gives him a plus 53 ball. Okay. Yeah, that kind of changes things. Because DeAndre Jordan is really good on... Only six... Wait, DeAndre Jordan only has 64 perimeter defense. Nah, it's not going to... It doesn't make him any better. I would not use this duo unless you're doing like a Lob City squad builder. Unless you're doing it for like a squad builder and just want to challenge... Or want to challenge yourself. I wouldn't use this duo at all. Paul Millsap and Corver. Millsap is a card that a lot of us will never get. He gets Acrobat, and that is it. Really, even one extra half badge? From a gold to a half badge, you're not even gonna notice. Base 34 and quick, fundamental dribble. Style, 94 three ball, like he's still not very good. Let's see with Corver. Corver's speed goes up two, his vertical goes up five, his three ball. Again, doesn't really matter. His perimeter goes up. His dunk goes up five. He gains a couple of finishing badges. Corver's actually pretty good. Like, again, if you want to use both of these guys, be my guest. Like, if they're not a bad dynamic duo. Like, it's not a bad dynamic duo with these guys. It's just, again, this is the, like, the gold standard of dynamic duos right now. Jerry Lucas and Oscar Robertson. He, he's terrible, Jerry Lucas. Like, he just gets... Goes up and thinks he's already good at. Yeah, and gains some finishing badges. He still sucks. He's going to go to... Obviously, he goes to 99 overall, but he still sucks. Still got Ray Allen normal. He still absolutely sucks. Oscar Robertson is... Goes up three and three ball. One in driving layup. He's the same card. Ooh, he actually... No, he gets half circus threes, which he has the normal leaner, which is huge. So, like, with half circus threes, half difficult shots, half hot zone under, he will be hitting leaners from everywhere. I do like that. Give him chef. Like, I mean, if you can eat... Oscar Robertson does get better. He really does get better. Then we got Hakeem Warwick and Dion Waiters. Dion Waiters. That's that's better. Hakeem Warwick goes up plus six in three ball. Gets a bunch of finishing badges on Hall of Fame, which don't matter too much. His defense goes a bit, but Hakeem Warwick has already got... A really good dribble style. He's got base five on quick, which is chick. The only problem with him, again, is the low three-point rating. But, like, you're going to have to use waiters. No, well, waiters actually had some decent off pads. He still can't play any defense. Waiters isn't terrible. Does he still get shifty in base 116? I know it's on normal timing. Ah. I mean, it's not the worst duo in the world. Not the brilliant duo, but not the worst in the world. And we got Ralph Sampson and Akeem Olajuwon. Ralph Sampson goes up in three ball. Nothing else of note. And in terms of badges, does he even get any? He does not. Akeem Olajuwon gets three extra half badges, which are difficult shots put by Boston Rise Up. There's a plus three three ball. I mean, if you want to use these two guys together, go for it. Their duos don't make any difference. They really don't. So yeah, of all these dynamic duos, there is one that I would like really suggest using and it's Chauncey Billups and Ben Wallace. Mainly because Ben Wallace with that plus 11 three ball, like he's all, like people already find him chick anyway. Like people already find it really easy to shoot with Ben Wallace. It's gonna become even easier to shoot with Ben Wallace now. So he's gonna actually become like a good shooter rather than just someone who can shoot if needed. Um, and then Chauncey gets a little better. Of all the other duos, I think that in terms of getting cards better, I wouldn't. I don't know why, why anyone would use Jared Solinger and Evan Turner, but it's not the worst duo in the world. If Scotty Barnes gets an update, this won't be too bad. Like these aren't the worst duos in the world, but like this is the best duo we've seen since the Penny Hardaway and Barstia one. 
So yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.